Hey, what's up, YouTube? And thanks for tuning in to this DIY 200 amp panel upgrade. So, let me just bring you up to date with what's going on here. There's a 60 amp panel here, which is insufficient for various reasons. Okay, it's only 60 amps there. All right. And the distance from there to the pole is 37 meters. You're only allowed 30 meters. So we had to come up with a solution. So the solution was to put the panel in the garage here. We're gonna tie into the lines there and just come over and into here. All right. So this is a 200 amp roughen. I got a proper meter base. We want this at eye level and it's uh, 60, 69 inches. I got a PVC male adapter going through the wall. I got that, the connector, and the pipe. That's a 10 foot length of pipe with three, three brackets that go through there. This, this was my commanding point, this pole here. So I made sure I had a clear through the roof. Once I established that, then, then I worked on the meter base. But the commanding point I found was the pole mast. So we got that through. Okay, now up top there, I still have to put the, uh, the cover and that. But before I do that, I have to flash it. So I'm gonna end up working with this. I'm gonna bring it home, I'm gonna trim it, paint it red, and then that'll go up there. I'll go up there. Okay. So then, because it's a garage, you know, where this kind of works out is what you make it work out to be. So I established the panel height, which is a good height here. This is basically. Uh, at eye level right here and I come in with an LB and I just measure the pipe from that mill adapter to this LB it was eight inches and then glued that together and then this is a uh, manufactured elbow two inch elbow that was I glued that in and then I left this piece somewhat loose so that when I glued it in here, and I just supported the panel with one hand, glued it in, that was my final glue is right there, right? Glued it in, supported it, fired a screw into there, and then one, two, three, four screws. Those brackets I also put on. And that's pretty much it. The hardest part that took the longest was establishing your your mounts. So that that right there is a solid piece of structure lumber, but I still doubled it. I still doubled it up. Up top there, I did some serious reinforcing there, but it's actually really strong. And the third one is just behind here. And those bolts are pretty long. 
So I had to just nip that with the grinder. And then I had uh, a sheet of three quarter ply and I was debating should I put it vertically or horizontally and I thought it worked really well horizontally because I still want to um, you know uh, how do you say allow for insulation to be pushed underneath it inside of it behind it so you have the liberty to do that still and I think it just works out a lot better like that you'll have you know wires coming into there right so horizontally I think worked out really well and so what's going to happen here is is that panel there that's a hundred amp panel so I'm going to back feed it I'm going to back feed it through the breezeway come over all the trusses come over and enter here with a hundred amp breaker 100 amp breaker. This is a stab lock. Okay. Now this is a panel. You guys that watch my videos, you know I I collect all kinds of material from demolition jobs, etc. So uh, I'll go over what I ended up buying. But this panel, I looked into it with all those breakers, is well over six, seven hundred dollars just for that panel. Okay, now what I'm going to end up doing for inspection purposes is buy little plugs for all those, both sides, and a big plug for over here. Okay, because in its previous life, it was being fed from this side. Now I'm feeding it from that side. It's just the way it worked out. Okay, so that's that. If you want to go over um, the material list, it's pretty simple. The meter base, you got, you got your meter base. This happens to be a, oh, give me a break, would ya? That's your meter base. I can't remember how much it was. It was like $89 at Home Depot. And you have to make sure you get the right one because every township wants different ones. So I did some research, got the right one. And then there's your 200 amp mast kit, which comes with uh, the three brackets. Comes with that and that on the flashing I just bought that just in case in case I needed to put four of them because I was debating whether or not to go with a, a 12 foot pipe or a 10 and it ended up being a 10 and I ended up I bought a PVC because I wasn't sure if I had any but I ended up I ended up having some so I'm gonna return I'm gonna return that and that that I just picked up along the way. It was a piece of scrap. Some serious metal here. Galvanized. So we got that. I brought a bunch of lumber that I had. Wasn't sure what I was going to use. Sockets, wrenches, various hole saws, drill bits. You know, I'm an hour and a half away from home, so there's no way I'm hitting a supplier. This is out here in the country. So, got miscellaneous hardware coming out the yin yang. Miscellaneous hardware, miscellaneous hardware, washers, all that stuff. And lumber, more lumber. And that's about it. I haven't even had lunch yet. Sausage and egg. But um, that's about it. So there's your 10 minute video of your DIY. Establish your mast first, and then coordinate meter base. Make that hole before you mount the meter base because it gets really tight. Anyways, 
that's about it we're at 10 minutes thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that it's not that hard guys it was actually fairly pleasant like i said the hardest part was mounting the mast i was by myself but it is rock solid very very happy with the way it turned out have a super day everybody take care